Hello viewers, uh, we have been discussing about last year paper of English literature, especially if you are preparing for MA in English entrance test or UGC or NDN net English in literature. Okay, so without any delay, let's resume our discussion. The first question of today's video is uh, number one, Des the very word is like a bell to all me back from d to my soul self which word so what uh, word will be uh, in the given bracket okay number one is saying bird number b is saying immortal number c is saying forlorn number d is saying fancy so the correct answer will be number d okay fancy the very word is like a bell to toll me back from d to my soul self finish this is the first next question is saying uh number two in poems like the altar and easter wings death exploits death which one will be correct? Number A is saying John Don Alliteration. Number B, Robert Herrick Trimeter. Number C, GM Hopkins Sprung Rhythm. Number D, George Herbert Typographic Space. So correct answer will be number D. That is, in poems like The Altar and the Easter Wings, George Herbert exploits typographic space. Next question. Number three. Uh, no, no. Thou has not felt the lapse of hours, for what wears out the life of mortal man. It is that repeated shocks again and again exhaust the energy of strongest souls and numb the elastic powers. What does the poet address here? So these lines are given. And now we have to say what does the poet address here. Number A is saying the scholar gypsy. Number B is saying Telemachus. Number C, the nightingale. Number D, the poet sister Dorothy. Correct answer will be number A, that, that is the scholar gypsy. Okay, then now let's move on to the number four. Number four is saying uh, the, Roman, the Roman HF, friends for novel with a key uses contemporary historical figure as its chief characters. They are, of course, given fictional names. One example is Eld Eldus Huxley's point counterpoint. Its Mark Rampion is modeled on this. So four options are given, and I will not read the whole uh, options. Uh, let me reveal the correct answer. Correct answer will be number A, that is D.S. Lawrence. Next, number five, she was a worthy woman, all here Levy. I don't know how to pronounce it. Her house bonds at church door, she had five. In the prologue, Joseph represents the wife of Bath as what? And, uh, here, number one is saying crude and vulgar. Number two, outspoken and boastfully licentious. Number three, a witness to masculine operation. Number four, bubbling with vitality. So which uh, answer will be correct? One, two, and three. One, two, and four. One, three, and four. Two, three, and four. So the correct answer will be number B. That is one, two, and four are correct. Okay, let's move on to the next question. And the next question is asking, the novel tells the story of twin brothers, twin brothers, Waldo, the man of reason and intellect, and Arthur, the innocent half-wit, the way their lives are inextricably intertwined, which is the novel. So we have to find out about the novel. So the novel will be uh, number C, the solid mandala. It is the correct answer. Next question. Who among the following was not a member of the Scribblers Club? So correct answer will be number C, that is Joseph Edison. Next. Das is a theological term brought into literary criticism by Das. So correct answer will be number D, that is Epiphany, is a theological term brought into literary criticism by James Joyce. Next. Des the almighty power hurled headlock flaming from the eternal sky with 
through eternal sky with hideous ruin and combustion down the to bottomless perdition dare to dwell in adamantine chains and panel fire who dares defy in omnipotent to arms paradise loss uh, for, this is taken from paradise loss now we have to choose the appropriate word which will be the correct answer so the correct answer will be number a that is him next question is asking which of the following works does not have a mad woman as a character in it which of the following works does not have a mad woman as a character in it that is number b the mad woman in the attic next which of the following is not a quest narrative which of the following is not a quest narrative number will be number c Coleridge christabel next the novel has a scene where african american students are made to compete and fight with each other as they rush for the gold coins toss on an electric blanket identify the novel number c ralph allison's invisible man that is the correct answer next question gm hopkins win hover is dedicated to whom number uh a to christ our lord okay next um, maths list one with list two according to the go quote given below so i will not read the whole thing the correct answer will be number uh, c that is uh one will be connected to three one is dead houses uh, and ghost crabs it is correct Number two one two one seems he need the author. Number three four three means W H Auden prevent the dog from barking with a juicy uh, bone. Number four two four is T S Lawrence and the correct answer will be snake. Next, uh, his cooks with long disuse their trade forgot. Cool was his kitchen though his brains were hot. Who is this character whose stinginess? pass into a proverb so the correct answer will be number b that is c may next it's a very uh, long statement the story and the novel the idea and the form are needle are the needle and thread and i never heard of a guild of tailors who recommended the use of the thread without the needle or the needle without the thread so this famous passage describing the relation of idea to form is found in where it is found in number c that is henry james the art of fiction next question next question this is the next question number 17 identify the correct math set below so i will not read the whole let uh, try to find let's try to find out the uh, correct answer correct answer will be number b that is this the norman conquest 1066 william caxton and the introduction of printing that was in the year 1475 the king james bible it was originally published in 1611 then dr johnson's english dictionary it was published in 1755 the commonwealth period the protectorate 1649 to 1660 okay please remember if you're preparing for a net and I mean English test next Leopold Bloom in Ulysses is what correct answer will be num number C a Jewish advertising agent next question late capitalism uh, by which is meant accelerated technological development and the massive extension of intellectually qualified labor was first popularized by who so the correct answer will be number B Arnes Man Mandel next question which of the following arrangement is in the correct chronological sequence the correct answer will be number b that is their eyes were watching god by jora nell hurston native son by richard wright invisible man by ralph allison another country by ja uh, james barwin next question it's too a uh, little, little bit long uh, metaphor is so wide widespread that it is often used as an umbrella term to include other figures of speech such as metonyms which can be technically distinguished from from in it in its narrow narrower uses identify the metaphorical phrase in this sentence so correct answer will be number c and d okay technically distinguish and figure of speech Le next next to very long uh, let's try to cover it in our next video thank you so much 
Hello viewers, today I will talk and I will try to solve the question of uh, NAT UGC 2014 June paper 2. Okay, so without any delay, let's begin our discussion. Number one question is, uh, the man, sorry, the just man justices, what kind of foregrounding do you find in the above lines? The just man justices, what kind of foregrounding do you find in the above lines? So we have to choose the correct option. So according to me, the correct options are A and B. Okay, A and B. A and B is the correct answer, but you have to uh, choose only one. Okay, uh, so therefore I request you to verify the answer. Uh, next question is saying, match the items in list one with items in list two according to the code given. List one and list two code is given like this. I am big, uh, lambic, anapsaric, dactylic, trochaic. So here I will not waste time. I will just uh, give the answer. The correct answer will be number. Uh, actually, no option is correct here. Okay. Since no option is correct here, it is the uh, error of uh, net authority. So they will uh, give marks to all okay you don't have to worry about it but still you can uh, do your own research next question is saying the separation of styles in accordance with class appears more consistently in this than in medieval works of literature and art the separation of styles in accordance with class appears more consistently this than in medieval works of literature so correct answer will be number b that is uh, shakespeare okay shakespeare is the correct answer Okay, next next option is saying, um, had we but world enough and time, this coyness lady were no crime. This statement is an example of what we have to answer it. So correct options is irony. This is an example of irony. Next question, a Spencerian stanza has, a Spencerian stanza has, number C is the correct answer, 8 iambic pentameter. Okay, next question. Match the items in list 1 with items in list 2 according to the code given below. Many codes, many options are given. So, I will just reveal the answer. The correct answer will be number A. Okay. Number A. This is the correct answer. That means 1 will be related to 2. That is Clean Brooks Paradox. 2, 1. William Amson Ambiguity. 3, 4. Marx Scorer. Scorer. Uh, techniques as Discovery. Number 4. Four. Uh, number wait yes number three is four next question the artist may be present in his work like god in creation invisible and almighty everywhere felt but nowhere seen henry james is talking here about the artist what so correct answer will be number a that is impersonality impersonality next question uh, match the items in list 1 with items in list 2 according to the code given below so list 1 is given about the theories list 2 is given about the book so list 1 is saying Michael Foku, Judith Butler, Alan Sinfield, Eve Kosovsky, Sedgwick and list 2 gender trouble, epistemology of the closet, history of sexuality, cultural politics, square reading so correct answer will be number B that is 1 is related to 3, 2 is 1, 3 is 4, number 4 option is, uh, will be connected to 2, okay. Mm. Number 9, the greatness of a poet, Arnold says, lies in his powerful and beautiful application of ideas to life. But a critic pointed out it was not a happy way of putting it, as if ideas were a loosen for the inflamed skin of suffering humanity. Who was this critic? So who was this critic? So correct answer will be number uh, A, that is T.S. Eliot. He is the critic. Okay, next question. Derrida's American disciples were? Correct answer is number A, Geoffrey Hartman. Uh, Paul the man J. Mills Miller next question identify the correct group of playhouses in late 16th century London from the following groups so 
according to my research, ANC is correct, but ANC never be correct. Uh, in uh, if there is only one option we have to choose, that's why you have to do your own research. Please do it. Next question is saying, keep up on your bright source for the dew will rush them. Good senior, you sell more more command with years than with your weapons. The above lines are addressed by Othello to whom? So correct answer is number B. That is Brabantio, Rodrigo, and officers. Next. Next is saying, Act 5 of Marlos, Edward II shows the murder of the king. Where does it take place? Murder of the king. Where does it take place? That is number B. A room in uh, Barkali Castle. A room in Barkali Castle. Next. It's a long question. Identify the correct math set. So I will not read all the options. The correct options will be uh, number A. Number A is the correct answer. Okay, wait. Number A, number A. This is the correct answer. The Sefer's calendar, 1579. Totals, miscellany, 1557. Astrophor and Stella, 1591. The Spanish tragedy, about 1585. That's it. Number 15 is saying, match the items in the list 1 with items in list 2 according to the code given below. So, which is the correct answer? Correct answer will be direct C. Okay. Uh, let me mark it. So, this is the correct answer, number C. Uh, means 1 uh, one will be matched to 4 and uh, 2 is 1, 3 is 2, 4 is uh, 4 is 3. Okay. Next. Okay, uh, let me end here. I will try to bring more videos in our upcoming classes. Thank you. Hello viewers. In this video, I will continue discussing the English literature MCQ and which will help you in intelligent guest in your various competitive exams in including MA in English and test test and uh, net exam and slap exam so without any delay let's begin our discussion the first question of today's video is identify the work below that does not belong to the literature of the 18th century so we have to now identify the work that is uh, that does not belong to the literature of the 18th century so here the correct answer will be advancement of learning okay okay next question is saying which among the following is a place through which john bunyan's christian does not pass which comma among the following is a place through which john bunyan's christian does not pass now the correct answer will be mount helican Okay, it is the correct answer. Number three question. The period of Queen Victoria's reign. The period of Queen Victoria's reign is the correct answer will be number uh, B, 1837 to 1901. Next question. Which of the following statements about the, sorry. Okay, which of the following statements about the lyrical ballads is not true? Which of the following statement statements about the lyrical ballads is not true? The correct answer will be number D. Okay, number D is the uh, correct answer. So number D is saying it also printed from Grace Elegy written in a country churchyard. So this statement is not correct, but the rest statement A, B, and C. These all are completely correct for this uh, question. Next, number five question is saying. One of the following texts was published earlier than 1955. One of the following texts was published earlier than 1955. Now we have to identify the text. So here uh, many options are given. I will not read all the options. I will just say the correct option. And the correct option will be number D. That is Samuel Beckett's uh, Waiting for Godot. Waiting for Godot, we all know it is an absurd play. Number six is saying, who among the poets in England, who among the poets in England during the 1930s uh, had left-leaning tendencies? Had left-leaning leaning tendencies. The correct answer will be 
number C that is W H Oden. Okay. Next question. Next question is saying match the following. We have to match the following. Uh, here number one option is given the sage of Concord. Number two is saying the nun of Amherst. Number three is saying Mark Twain. Number four is saying Paul Pasham. Number five is saying Emily Dickinson. Number six is saying R. W. Emerson. Number seven is saying T. S. Eliot. Number eight is saying Samuel L. Clemens. So now we have to match it. Now how we will match according to the correct information. So I will not waste an, uh, uh, any more time. So let me reveal the answer. Answer will be number uh, C. Okay, number C is the right answer. That means uh, A. It the sage of Concord will be related to Samuel L. Clemens. To the nun of Amherst, it will be related to uh, seven T. S. Eliot. Uh, three six Mark Twain, R. W. Emerson. Four five Old Person, Emily Dickinson. Okay. Number eight question. Name the theorist who divided poets into strong and weak and popularized the practice of misreading. Name the theorist who divided poets into strong and weak and popularized the practice of misreading. So the correct answer will be Harold Bloom. Harold Bloom is the correct answer. Okay. Next question. Next question is saying the rap of the lock, the rap of the lock pop repeatedly compares Belinda to number a will be the correct answer that is the sun okay the wrap of the lock pop repeatedly compares belinda to the sun number 10 which of the following awards is not given to indian english writers so what is the correct answer actually number c and d these both are correct number c and d uh the gyan pit and with bread price okay gyan pit and with bread price Okay. Actually, Gyan Pit, it is our India's own literary prize, but uh, please verify it whether Gyan Pit is given to Indian English writers or not. Okay. But Gyan Pit is given to all the writers of Indian regional languages or I Indian native languages. I hope you have comprehended. Next question Identify the correct statement below. So we have to now identify the correct statement below, uh, which one will be the correct answer. So I will not read it because it will consume time. Correct answer will be number B, that is, Gorbodak is a tragedy, while Ralph Royster, Doister and Gamer Gordon's Needle are comedies. Okay. Next question is saying, W. M. Thackeray's Vanity Fair owes its title to W. M. Thackeray's Vanity Fair owes its title to number D, uh, John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress. John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress. Okay, next question. It is a very important question. The Puritans shut down all theatres in England in. The Puritans shut down all theatres in England in which year? So, according to my research, it is 1642. But please verify it. Next question. Which of the following was not a contemporary of Wordsworth and Coleridge? Which of, sorry, who of the following was not a contemporary of Wordsworth and Coleridge? The correct answer will be number D. That is William, William Hazlitt is the correct answer. Number 15 is saying, little bit long question. Which of the following statement about waiting for Godot is not true? Uh, so here many options are given means four options are given I will not read all the question let me reveal the answer so correct answer will be actually this is a little bit confusing question according to my research uh, this question has some errors okay that's why marks are given to all okay so but uh, despite that you can do your own research please verify it uh, next question the bloomsbury group included british intellectuals critics writers and artists who among the following belong to the bloomsbury group who among the following belong 
to the Bloomsbury group. The correct answer will be number A, uh, A that is 1 and 2. Okay. Uh, 1 and 2 here you can read. John Maynard Keynes, Lytton Starchy, E.M. Forster, Roger Fry, Clive Bell. Next question. Who among the following is credited with the making of the first authoritative dictionary of the English language? So who? The correct answer is number B. I think you all know that is Samuel Johnson. Next question. In Dryden's essay of dramatic poesy, which was published in 1668, who opens the discussion on behalf of the ancient? So correct answer will be number B, that is Kreitz. Kreitz, okay. Next question was, uh, the term invective, the term invective refers to, uh, the term invective refers to, the correct answer will be number A is the correct answer, that is the abusive writing, uh, the ab abusive writing or speech in which there is harsh denunciation of some person or thing, that is called invective. I hope you have understood. Next question, number 20. Which of the following novels depicts the plight of the Bangladeshi immigrants in East London? So, which is the correct answer? Number D. That is Brick Lane. Brick Lane is the correct answer. Okay. Number 21 is saying, uh, The year 1939 proved to be a crucial year for two important writers in England. Identify the correct phrase below. Okay, the correct phrase will be the number A is the correct answer. For Yates who died for Auden who left England for the US. Next question. The Enlightenment was characterized by. The Enlightenment was characterized by. Correct answer will be number B. A belief in the universal authority of the reason and emphasis on scientific experimentation. Next question. Which Shakespearean play contains the line dot 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 inverted comma there is a special providence in the fall of a sparrow inverted comma close question mark is given. So correct answer will be number B that is Hamlet. I hope you have read this drama or play. Next question. 24 is saying uh, match the following pairs of the book. We have to match the following pairs of the book. Let me reveal the answer and the answer is number... Uh, so number B is the right answer that is uh, one will be poor that means condition of the working class in England it is related to related to Frederick Engels number two is two that is London labor London labor and the La London poor Henry Mayhew Mayhew number three is three and number uh, one is four okay okay Let's move on to next question. Next question is asking, in which of the following texts do Aston, Davies and Mick appear as characters? In which of the following texts do Aston, Davies and Mick appear as characters? So correct answer will be Harold Pinter's caretaker. It is the correct answer. Next question. What is common to the following writers? Identify the correct description below. William Congreve, George Eaters, William Wycherley, Thomas Otway. So correct answer will be number A. All of these were restoration playwrights. 27 is saying, In which Janestin novel do you find the characters Anne or Annie, Iliad, Lady Russell, Lucia Musgrove and Captain Wentworth? So, correct answer will be number C, that is persuasion. Next question. In which of the, in which of his essays does Homi Bhabha discuss the discovery of English in colonial India? So, correct answer will be sign taken for wonders. Sign taken for wonders. Next question. Uh, this was the first sonnet sequence in English. So, correct answer will be number B, that is Philip Sidney's Astrophel and Stella. Number 30. Which of the correct sequence of the novels of B.S. Naipaul? Which of the, oh sorry, which is the correct sequence of the novels of B.S. Naipaul? So, number D is the correct answer. It is the 
this is incorrect C sequence of B.S. Naipel, Naipaul's novel. First, the mystic Messier, the suffrage of Elvira, Miguel Street, or Miguel Street, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, a house for Mr. Biswas. Next question. Kubla Khan takes an epigraph from, Kubla Khan takes an epigraph from what? Number A, that is Samuel Purchase, uh, Purchase his pilgrimage. It is the correct answer. Next. Next question is, which of the following author team is correctly matched? Which of the author, uh, sorry, which of the following author team is correctly matched? So here, according to my research, uh, this question and its option, it has some errors. That's why marks uh, were given to all. Marks was given to all. That's why I will not discuss it, but you can verify it. You can take a screenshot. Th number 33 question. Which am among the following titles set a course for academic literary feminism? So, correct answer is A Room of One's Own. It is written by Virginia Woolf, if I'm not wrong. Next, in which play do we see a reworking of E.M. Forster's A Passage to India as a cameo? As a cameo number 34 that is number c is the correct answer indian ink next shakespeare, shakespeare sonnets shakespeare sonnets which option will be correct number d shakespeare sonnets are dedicated to an unknown mr w h okay so he is a kind of mystery man 36 which of the following poems uses terza rima which of the following uses Terja Rima? Number B, that is WB, uh, sorry, uh, PB cell is owed to the West Wind. Owed to the West Wind. Next question. When one says that, when one says that someone is no more or that someone has breathed his, her last, the speaker is resorting to what? So, correct answer will be number D, that is euphemism. Okay, euphemism is the correct answer. Next question, which of the following are companion poems? Which of the following are companion poems? So, companion poem will be number B, that is El Allegro, El Allegro and Second Pen Seroso. Verify your pronunciation. So, next question, what does the episteme signify? What does the episteme signify? Correct answer will be episteme signify knowledge next which of the following is a better definition of an image in literary writing which of the following is a better definition of an image in literary writing so correct answer will be number b that is a speaking picture a speaking picture next whom did kids regard as the prime example of negative capability so correct answer will be number c that is uh william shakespeare uh, william shakespeare is the correct answer okay yes next question 42 number charles dickens a tale of two cities begins with the sentence okay the correct option will be number a it was the best of time it was the worst of time it was the uh, i have forgotten the lines check this out next 43 the works of Gerard Manley Hopkins were published posthumously by who? Number C, that is Robert Bridges. Robert Bridges. Okay. We have more questions left. 44 is saying, which of the following is the correct chronological sequence? So, correct chron chronological sequence is number B, that is the deserted village, um, a poison tree, Ozymandias, the blessed damosel. Next question, 45. The term homology means a, uh, means a correspondence between two or more structures who of the following develop a theory of relations between literary works and social classes in terms of homologies. So correct answer will be what? Number. I have little bit doubt. Please verify it. According to me, A and C. According to my research, but verify it. Then only you will know. Next, 
F. Turner's famous hypothesis is that uh, there is C. The frontier has been the frontier has been the one great determinant of American civilization. Next question. Which statement below on the Spencerian stanza is slash are accurate? So accurate uh, is number C. That is number three. Okay, an eight line stanza. In iambic pentameter followed by a ninth in six iambic feet next question is saying match the following text with their respective themes okay so which is the correct answer so correct answer will be number B that is uh, one will be related to two aeropagetica is related to the liberty for unlicensed printing uh, number two is related to three. Uh, Leviathan by Hobbes. It is related to absolute sovereignty. Number three, Alexander's Feast written by Dryden. It is related to four, the power of music. Number four, the way of the world written by William Congreve. It related to one, that is fashion, courtship, seduction. Next, the preliminary version of James Joyce portrait of the artist as a young man was called uh, number A, Stephen Hero. Uh, Stephen, Stephen Hero. Okay. Number 50, last question. It is saying, it is a little bit long question. Uh, a pastiche is a mixture of themes. Oh, here many options are given. So, which option will be the correct option? So, number uh, 1 and 2 are correct answer. A pastiche is a mixture of themes, stylistic elements, or subject borrowed from other works. Number two is saying it is distinguished from parody because not all parody is pastiche. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Verify it. I am the learning just like you. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video will help you in your preparation and it may help you also in your intelligent guessing in your any exam that is related to English literature. Bye-bye. Hello viewers, welcome back. And in this video, I will continue uh, the discussion of MA in English entrance test, MCQ. Actually, this is a UGC net paper. So I think it may help you in the examination so i have decided to solve okay solve this paper and it it will help you uh, somehow or somewhere in your uh, ma in english entrance examination so without any delay let's begin our discussion the first question is saying uh, which one of the following author book pair is correctly matched which one of the following author book pair is correctly matched? Now, the correct answer will be, I will just say the correct answer uh, as quick uh, as quickly as possible. Okay. So, which of the, which one of the following author book pair is correctly matched? This answer will be number B, Saul Belro Harrods. Okay. Saul Belro Harrods. This will be the correct answer. Okay. Now let's move on to our uh, next question. And the next question is saying, which novel has a nameless narrator? Which novel has a nameless narrator? And the correct answer will be Invisible Man. Invisible Man, this is the correct answer. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Next question is saying, Samuel Beckett wrote, Samuel Beckett wrote uh, number a is the correct answer. It will be end game. Okay. This is the correct answer. End game is the correct answer. Willie Loman is a character in. Willie Loman is a character in. Correct answer will be number D. That is the death of a salesman. Next question. Uh, the plow and the stars. The plow and the stars. This book was written by, correct answer will be, it was written by Sin O K C. Okay, Sin O K C. That means this thing is correct. Sin O K C. Next question. The suitable, sorry, 
the subtitle of dryden's absalom and achitophel the subtitle of dryden's absalom and achitophel is number a is the correct answer actually there is no subtitle okay next question who of the following is not a periodical essays who of the following is not a periodical essays correct answer will be number d that is lancelot lancelot andrews lancelot andrews is the correct answer okay then eight number question is saying john evelyn and samuel peps were the famous writers of number eight will be correct answer that is uh, diaries okay diaries is the correct answer next question samuel butler's hoodie brass samuel butler's hoodie brass is modeled upon hoodie brass is model upon number c is the correct answer that is don quick jot okay don quick jog uh, next question who was the last of the christian humanists who was the last of the christian humanists and the correct answer will be number c that is john bunyan john bunyan is the correct answer next question the narrative of raja rao's kanthapura is based on the narrative of raja rao's kanthapura is based on it will be number a that is purans it is based on purans next question which of the following author book pair is correctly matched so correct answer will be number d algebra of infinite justice written by arundhati roy next question who wrote a tiger does not proclaim its tiger tooth who wrote it the correct answer will be wal soyanika as uh, he is an african writer if i'm not wrong next question jindi warbak jindi warbak movement it is related to what it is related to number a is the correct answer that is australian literature okay next question the montreal group of poets champion the cause of the montreal group of poets champion the cause of number d there is modernist poetry okay okay the figure next question the figure of the abyssinian maid the figure of the abyssinian maid it appears in number a is saying for frost at midnight number b is saying christabel number c is saying kubla khan number d is saying de jackson and ode uh, i have forgotten the answer of it okay now let's move on if i remember then i will come back uh, okay the okay the correct answer i think but please verify it it is uh, number c that is kubla khan according to me okay kubla khan i think most of you have read this poem next question is saying Coleridge, uh, Coleridge's statement that imagination dissolves, diffuses, dissipates in order to recreate. It relates to what? Correct answer will be number C. That is secondary imagination. I hope you have understood. Next question. Did he who made the lamb made the appears in? This is a line. It appears in number one. That is the tiger. Okay. that is the correct answer next question essays of ilia essays of ilia are it, uh, these are essays of ilias are it is personal impressions next question who among the following is a writer of historical romance so correct answer will be most of you know if i am not wrong that is walter scott correct next question which of the following thinker Uh, concept pairs is pair is rightly matched so the correct answer will be number 1 stanley fish reader response theory 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग थिंकर कॉन्सेप्ट पेयर इज राइटली मैथ्स दिस इज टू सेम क्वेश्चन बट ऑप्शन आर डिफरेंट सो करेक्ट एंसर उल बी नंबर बी भारत नाट्य शास्त्र नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन चूज द करेक्ट सिक्वेन्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्कूल्स ऑफ क्रिटिसिजम सो द करेक्ट एंसर उल बी नंबर बी दैर इज न्यू क्रिटिसिजम स्ट्रक्चरलिजम दि कन्स्ट्रक्शन रिडर रेसपन्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पेरीपेटिया और पेरीपेसिया आई डोट नो द करेक्ट प्रनाउन्सिएशन प्लीज भेरिफाई इट सो द करेक्ट एंसर उल बी नम्बर सी दैट इज रिभार्सल अफ फर्च्यून नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गायनो क्रिटिसिजम गायनो क्रिटिसिजम इट इज ए फेमिनिस्ट क्रिटिसिजम इट इज इट फोकस ऑन नम्बर डी उल बी द करेक्ट एंसर women as writers next question which of the following sequence is correct which of the following sequence is correct the correct uh, sequence will be number a that is vanity fair henry asman middle merge the return of the narrative next question queen victoria's reign after whom the victorian period is uh, named spans so the correct answer will be number B that is 1837 to 1901. Okay, pre-Raphaelite next question. Pre-Raphaelite poetry is mainly concerned with pre-Raphaelite poetry is mainly concerned with that is number uh, C is the correct answer. Form and design. Form and design. Next question. The concept of mad woman in the attic can be traced to the concept of mad woman in the attic can be traced to number D is the correct answer that is jen ayer from jen ayer this concept was uh, spread number 30 question who among the victorian is called the prophet of modern society who among the victorians is called the prophet of modern society correct answer will be matthew arnold that is d matthew arnold okay next question who among the following is not a pilgrim in the canterbury tales who among the following is not a pilgrim in canterbury tales the correct answer will be number c that is the blacksmith next question bosola uh, bosola is the executioner in number b is the correct answer that is the duchess of malfi i hope you have read this thing uh, next question the mystery place deals with the mystery place deals with the life of christ number 1 is the correct answer next question the fairy queen is based on the fairy queen is based on number d is the correct answer that is orlando furiso next question choose the correct chronological sequence of the following place so number uh, c is the correct answer that is hamlet othello king lear macbeth Next question Pope's essay on criticism it sums up the art of poetry as taught first by whom so the correct answer will be number B that is Horace Horace Next question Swift's tale of a tub is satire on Swift's tale of a tub is satire on number 1 is the correct answer science and philosophy Next question Dr Johnson started Dr Johnson started number C is the correct answer the rambler next question who among the following caution against the dangers of popular liberty who among the following caution against the dangers of popular liberty correct answer will be thomas hobbes that is c c is the correct answer next question who oh sorry which famous american classic opens with call me ismail call me ismail so the correct answer will be moby dick okay moby dick is the correct answer next question allen ginsberg vision of america is inspired by correct answer will be walt whitman walt whitman he is an american poet uh, next question who among the following represents the sri lankan diaspora so correct answer will be number c that is michael on that j Out of Africa, it is a film adaptation of a work by whom? So the correct answer will be uh, number. Actually, no one is the writer of uh, here. 
wrong options are given okay none of them will be the correct answer uh, please verify it next question that is 44 the empire rights back was written by number uh, b is the correct answer sorry d that is bill s crop helen tiffin garrett griffiths next question the theater of cruelty is associated with it is the c is the correct answer that is antonin artard antonin artard is the correct answer a particle is next question a particle is so the correct answer will be a patch work of word sentence and passages that is number one is the correct answer 47 question careless she is with artful care affecting to seem unaffected is an example of what so it is an example of number b that is paradox if you don't know what is paradox please go through it next a metrical foot containing a stress followed by an unstressed syllable is so correct answer will be number c that is trochi what is trochi please go through it i will not explain here it will consume time 49 number question the rhyme scheme of spencerian sonnet the rhyme scheme of spencerian sonnet is number d is the correct answer that is a b a b b c b c c d c d e e e next last question using the expression crown for the monarchy is an example of so it, it is an example of metonymy it is a new concept if you don't know please go through it thank you so much hello viewers welcome back and in this video i will continue uh, the discussion of ma in english entrance test mcq actually this is a ugc net paper so i think it may help you in the examination so i have decided to solve okay solve this paper and it it will help you uh, somehow or somewhere in your uh, MA in English entrance examination. So without any delay, let's begin our discussion. The first question is saying, uh, which one of the following author book pair is correctly matched? Which one of the following author book pair is correctly matched? Now, the correct answer will be, I will just say the correct answer uh, as quick uh, as quickly as possible okay so which of the which one of the following author book pair is correctly matched this answer will be number b sol belro harrods okay sol belro harrods this will be the correct answer okay now let's move on to our uh, next question and the next question is saying which novel has a nameless narrator which novel has a nameless narrator and the correct answer will be invisible man invisible man this is the correct answer okay let's move on to the next question next question is saying samuel beckett rot samuel beckett rot uh, number a is the correct answer it will be end game Th okay this is the correct answer end game is the correct answer willie loman is a character in willie loman is a character in correct answer will be number d that is the death of a salesman next question uh, the plow and the stars the plow and the stars this book was written by correct answer will be it was written by sin o k c okay sino kc that means this thing is correct sino kc next question the suitable sorry the subtitle of dryden's absalom and akitophel the subtitle of dryden's absalom and akitophel is number a is the correct answer actually there is no subtitle okay next question who of the following is not a periodical essays who of the following is not a periodical essays correct answer will be number d that is lancelot lancelot andrews lancelot andrews is the correct answer okay then eight number question is saying john evelyn and samuel peps were the famous writers of number eight will be correct answer that is 
diaries okay diaries is the correct answer next question samuel butler's hoodie brass samuel butler's hoodie brass is modeled upon hoodie brass is model upon number c is the correct answer that is don quick jot okay don quick jog uh next question who was the last of the christian humanists who was the last of the christian humanists and the correct answer will be number c that is john bunyan john bunyan is the correct answer next question the narrative of raja rao's kanthapura is based on the narrative of raja rao's kanthapura is based on it will be number a that is purans it is based on purans next question which of the following author book pair is correctly matched so correct answer will be number d algebra of infinite justice written by arundhati roy next question who wrote a tiger does not proclaim its tiger tooth who wrote it the correct answer will be wal soyanika uh, he is an african writer if i'm not wrong next question jindi warbak jindi warbak movement it is related to what it is related to number a is the correct answer that is australian literature okay next question the montreal group of poets champion the cause of the montreal group of poets champion the cause of number d that is modernist poetry okay okay the figure next question the figure of the abyssinian maid the figure of the abyssinian maid it appears in number a is saying for frost at midnight number b is saying christabel number c is saying kubla khan number d is saying de jackson and ord uh i have forgotten the answer of it okay now let's move on if i remember then i will come back uh okay the okay the correct answer i think but please verify it it is uh number c that is kubla khan according to me okay kubla khan i think most of you have read this poem next question is saying uh colrys colrys a statement that imagination dissolves diffuses dissipates in order to recreate it relates to what correct answer will be number c that is secondary imagination i hope you have understood next question did he who made the lamb met d appears in this is a line it appears in number 1 that is the tiger okay that is the correct answer next question essays of ilia essays of ilia are it, uh, these are essays of ilias are it is personal impressions next question who among the following is a writer of historical romance so correct answer will be most of you know if i am not wrong that is walter scott correct next question which of the following thinker uh, concept pairs is pair is rightly matched so the correct answer will be number 1 stanley fish reader response theory next question which of the following uh, thinker concept pair is rightly matched this is the same question but uh, options are different so correct answer will be number b bharata naitya shastra next question choose the correct sequence of the following schools of criticism so the uh, correct answer will be number b there is new criticism structuralism deconstruction reader response next question per peripetia or peripetia i i don't know the correct pronunciation please verify it so the correct answer will be number c that is reversal of fortune next question gyno criticism 
gyno criticism it is a feminist criticism it is it focus on number d will be the correct answer women as writers next question which of the following sequence is correct which of the following sequence is correct the correct uh, sequence will be number a that is vanity fair henry asman middle merge the return of the narrative next question queen victoria's reign after whom the victorian period is uh, named spans so the correct answer will be number b that is 1837 to 1901 okay pre raphaelite next question pre raphaelite poetry is mainly concerned with pre raphaelite poetry is mainly concerned with that is number uh, c is the correct answer form and design form and design next question the concept of mad woman in the attic can be traced to the concept of mad woman in the attic can be traced to number d is the correct answer that is jen ayer from jen ayer this concept was uh, spread number 30 question who among the victorian is called the prophet of modern society who among the victorians is called the prophet of modern society correct answer will be matthew arnold that is d matthew arnold okay next question who among the following is not a pilgrim in the canterbury tales who among the following is not a pilgrim in canterbury tales the correct answer will be number c that is the blacksmith next question bosola uh, bosola is the executioner in number b is the correct answer that is the duchess of malfi i hope you have read this thing uh next question the mystery plays deals with the mystery plays deals with the life of christ number 1 is the correct answer next question the fairy queen is based on the fairy queen is based on number d is the correct answer that is orlando furiso next question choose the correct chronological sequence of the following plays so number uh, c is the correct answer that is Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, Macbeth. Next question. Pope's essay on criticism. It sums up the art of poetry as taught first by whom? So the correct answer will be number B. That is Horace. Horace. Next question. Swift's tale of a tub is satire on. Swift's tale of a tub is satire on. Number one is the correct answer. Science and philosophy. Next question. Dr. Johnson started. Dr. Johnson started number C is the correct answer. The Rambler. Next question. Who among the following caution against the dangers of popular liberty? Who among the following caution against the dangers of popular liberty? Correct answer will be Thomas Hobbes. That is C. C is the correct answer. Next question. Who? Oh, sorry. Which famous American classic opens with "Call me"? is smile call me is smile so the correct answer will be moby dick okay moby dick is the correct answer next question alan ginsberg's vision of america is inspired by correct answer will be walt whitman walt whitman he is an american poet uh, next question who among the following represents the sri lankan diaspora so correct answer will be number c that is michael on that day out of africa it is a film adaptation of a work by whom so the correct answer will be uh, number actually no one is the writer of uh, here mm, wrong options are given okay none of them will be the correct answer Uh, please verify it next question that is 44 the empire rides back was written by number uh, b is the correct answer sorry d that is bill s crop helen tiffin great griffiths next question the theater of cruelty is associated with it is the c is the correct answer that is antonin artert Antonin Artaud is the correct answer. 
a particle is next question a particle is so the correct answer will be a patch work of words sentence and passages that is number one is the correct answer 47 question careless she is with artful care affecting to seem unaffected is an example of what so it is an example of number b that is paradox if you don't know what is paradox please go through it next a metrical foot containing a stress followed by an unstressed syllable is so correct answer will be number c that is trochi what is trochi please go through it i will not explain here it will consume time 49 number question the rhyme scheme of spencerian sonnet the rhyme scheme of spencerian sonnet is number d is the correct answer that is a b a b b c b c c d c d e e e Next, last question using the expression crown for the monarchy is an example of so it, it is an example of metonymy it is a new concept if you don't know please go through it thank you so much hello viewers welcome back and in this video i will resume uh, the series that i have been running for ma in english entrance test okay so without any delay let's begin today's discussion so the first question is uh, actually this question paper consists 50 questions and each question it carries uh, two marks that means now we will discuss 50 question which carries or which contains 100 marks okay so the first question of this paper is Chaucer's the knight's tale Chaucer's the knight's tale is a high romance told in we all know about uh, Chaucer and uh, his famous work the knight's tale it is a high Roma romance told in options are given like this number one is saying rhyme royal number b terra rima number c heroic couplets number d verse livre so the correct answer will be Chaucer's the knight's tale is a high romance told in number c heroic couplets I would like to reiterate one thing and that is please verify the answer that I will say here. Okay. Next question. Next question is saying Marlowe's first original work was number A, Cumberland, the Great, number B, the Tragical History of Dr. Faustus, number C, the Jew of Malta, number D, the Troublesome Resin and Lamentable Death of Edward II. So what will be the correct answer? Marlowe's first original work was correct answer is number A, Tumberline the Great. Next question. Next question is saying Marvel pays his homage to the protector and a tribute to the royal dignity of Charles I in. Let me repeat it. Marvel pays his homage to the protector and a tribute to the royal dignity of Charles I in number A, the garden, number B, the picture of TC, number C, Bermudas, number D, Horatian Ode upon Cromwell's return from Ireland. And the correct answer will be number D, Horatian Ode upon Cromwell's return from Ireland. Next question. Next question is saying, the life and death of Mr. Badman, the life and death of Mr. Badman, this book was written by number A, Sir Henry Wharton, number B, John Bunyan, number C, Jeremy Taylor, number D, Richard Baxter. The correct answer is number D, number B, John Bunyan. Next question. Next question is saying, Dr. Johnson, we all know about Dr. Johnson, Dr. Samuel Johnson. Dr. Johnson's A Dictionary of the English Language. It was published in number A, 1755, number B, 1756, number C, 1757, number D, 1758. And the correct answer will be Dr. Johnson's A Dictionary of the English Language was published in number A, 1755. Next question. The main idea of the Dunciate. The main idea of the Dunciad was taken from number A, the Hin and the Panther, number B, uh, Religio Lacy, sorry for the pronunciation, number C, Mac Flecknow, number D, the Medal. The correct answer will be the main idea of the Dunciad was taken from number C, Mac Flecknow. Next question is saying, uh, the character of the Leech Gatherer, Leech Gatherer appears in number A, the Recluse, number B, the Prelude Book 1, number C, Laudamia, number C, Resolution and Independence. The correct answer will be the character of Leech Gatherer appears in number D, Resolution and Independence. Next question. Number eight, number eight uh, Table Talk. 
table top it is a collection of essay by whom number a is saying lamb number b is saying hunt number c is saying hazlitt number d is saying de quincey correct answer will be table top is a collection of essay by number c hazlitt if i am not wrong his full name was william hazlitt next question carlilis sartor resortus carlilis sartor resortus it was written under the influence of number a italian romance number b german romance number c french romance number d british romance the correct answer is what correct answer is carlilis sartor resortus was written under the influence of number b german romance next question next question is saying the image of the neptune taming the sea horse appears in the image of the neptune taming the sea horse appears in number a f vogler number b uh, prospice number c and ria del sarto number d my last duchess the correct answer is number d my last duchess next question next question is t s eliot's the wasteland it's a famous uh, work of poetry it is dedicated to uh, i don't know how to pronounce it maybe a second misilor febro okay uh, i'm sorry for that please verify how to pronounce it okay the better craftsman which refers to what number a is saying ezra pound number b is saying baudelaire number c is saying gm hopkins number d is saying dante correct answer is number a ezra pound next question the local the local of riders to the sea is what number a dublin number b eden island number c galway number d belfast the correct answer is the local of riders to the sea is number b eden island next question the bog the bog poems are associated with the bog poems are associated with number a ted hughes number b elizabeth jennings number c tony harrison number d seamus heaney the correct answer is number b uh, sorry number d seamus heaney next question edward bonds edward bonds bingo it deals with the life of number a dryden number b shakespeare number c ben johnson number d marlowe christopher marlowe so what is the correct answer the correct answer is edward bonds bingo it deals with the life of number b shakespeare next question arthur miller's the death of a salesman arthur miller's the death of a salesman is mainly about number a american dream number b american imperialism number c american pragmatism number c d american transcendentalism the correct answer is arthur miller's the death of a salesman is mainly about number a american dream next question the person in michael on that jess the person in michael on that jess the english person is number a el masi uh, number b uh, kara bhagio number c kripal singh number d hena so what is the correct answer uh, the correct answer is number a el masi el masi next question 70 number uh, mimetic criticism views literary works as number a personalization number b depersonalization number c imitation number d interpretation correct answer is mimetic criticism was sorry mimetic criticism views literary work as number c imitation next question the concept of arc writing is developed by the concept of arc writing is developed by number a fis number b foku number c derrida number d paul de mon the correct answer is the concept of arc writing is developed by number c Uh, sorry derrida okay next question a figure of speech in which two terms opposite in meaning are placed side by side in one phrase is known as a figure of speech in which two terms opposite in meaning are placed side by side in one phrase is known as number uh, which number will, will be correct number a is saying paradox number number b is saying oxymoron number c is saying sarcasm number d is saying antithesis and the correct answer is number c sarcasm next question a stanza of eight iambic pentameters on the pattern of ab comma ab comma ab comma cc is known as what number a rhyme royal number b ottava rima number c a tennisonian stanza number d spenserian stanza and the correct answer is number b ottava rima next question next question this is little bit different kind of question so we have to first read the question and the question is saying like this choose the correct chronological sequence in question numbers 21 to 30 choose the correct chronological sequence in question numbers 21 to 30 okay so here we have to choose the correct chronological sequence okay means uh, so here some uh, books will some books are given and now we have to uh, reorder them according to their publication year 
Okay, one after another. So the correct answer is what? Number A sing, love, labors lost, then twelfth night, then Othello, then the, the tempest. Next is sing, twelfth night, love, labors lost, the tempest, Othello. Next is sing, love, labor lost, Othello, the tempest, twelfth night. Othello, next, uh, next option, 12th night, loves, labors, lost, and the tempest. The correct answer is number A, loves, labor, lost, 12th night, Othello, and the tempest. Next question. Next question is saying, uh, here do we have to chronologically sequence. Uh, so I will not read this whole thing. Uh, the correct answer will be number D, Utopia. It was first published, then Ralph Royster, Doister, then Shepard's Calendar, then Astrophel and Steel, Stella. Next question. Next question is, uh, the correct answer will be number A, 23, number A, sonnet, then periodical essay, then gothic novel, then absurd play. Next question, it, it is the same. Uh, the correct answer will be number B, first T.S. Eliot will come, then Stephen Spender, then Philip Larkin, then Ted Hughes. Ted Hughes. Next question. So, we have to reorder in sequence. The correct answer will be number D, if I'm not wrong, but please verify it. Okay. Number one will come... Uh, Heteroglossia, number B, dissociation of sensibility, sublime, then negative capability. Please verify it. Next question. Next question is saying which is the correct answer. Correct answer will be number D, Adonis in memory of WBH, Lysidas, then Thyresis. Next question. Next question is uh, stuck, science, structure, and play means these all books are given, so uh, we have to reorder it. The correct answer will be number B, the two uses of language, then the dare of the author, then science, structure, and play, then science taken for wonder. Next question. Next question is saying which is the correct answer. The correct answer will be number one, the burial of the dead, then a game of chess, fire sermon, then dead by water. Okay. Which one will come first? Which one come? Which one will come second? Which one will come third? Which one will come fourth? So that we have to order it. Okay. Next question is saying uh, same thing. Uh, so the correct answer will be twenty nine D. Kanthapura. It will first come then nectar in seas, then midnight children, then Calcutta chromosome. So this is the publication year maybe. Okay. Next question. Uh, the correct answer will be craft or fiction aspects of the novel. Then the English novel. Then English novel uh, column form and function. Then the sense of an ending. Next question, here are two little bit different. Select a matching pair in question numbers 31 to 40. So here we have to match pairs, whether uh, that pair is correct or not, or true or false, that thing. The, so uh, number one is saying 31A, Sohrab and Rustam, Arnold, the princess, written by Browning, uh, C, Hug or Hughes, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I will pronounce it Hug, so please verify it. Uh, okay, Hug, uh, Selwyn, Moberly, Hopkins and the excursion Shelley. The correct answer will be number A. So Herop and Rastam, it is written by Matthew Arnold. Next question. Middle March, it is written by, oh sorry, it is a picturesque genre, whether it is correct or not. Then saying, women in love, historical genre. Number C, Pamela, epistolary novel. Number D, Pride and Prejudice, autobiography. So correct answer is number C, Pamela, it is an epistolary novel. Epistolary novel, it is written in a letter mode. Okay, letter you all know. Next question. A. Dickens, Manchester, Faulkner, Yohna, Patwafa. Sorry for the pronunciation again. Uh, C. Joyce, Belfast. Number D. Lawrence, Birmingham. The correct answer is number B. Faulkner, Yohna, Patwafa. Yohna, Patwafa. Okay, next question. Naturalism, Jola, Symbolism, T. E. Halm. Number C. Exp expressionism, uh, Virginia Woolf. Magic Realism, Graham Greene. The correct answer is Naturalism, Jola. Next, Andre Thomas, The Stone Angel, Robert Crossett, The Burning Water, Number C, Margaret Lawrence, What the Crusade, Number D, Margaret Atwood, The Blind Assassin. Assassin. The correct answer is Number D, Margaret Atwood, The Blind Assassin. Next, Marlowe Faust, Fletcher, The White Devil, Number C, Congreve, The Old Bachelor, Number D, Ben Johnson, The Maid's Tragedy. So, correct answer is Number C. William Congreve, The Old Bachelor. Next, Nadine Gardiner's Nigeria, Chinua, Achibi, Kenya, Judith Wright, Australia, number D, Peter Carey, Canada. So correct answer is number C, Judith Wright, Australia. C belongs from Australia. Number 38, Campus Novel, Margaret Drebel, number D, Trevelock, Macaulay, number D, Diary Writing, Samuel Pepps, number D, Periodical Essay, Lamb. The correct, and the correct match is number C, Diary Writing, Samuel Pepps. Next, 
Giris Karnan, Karnataka, sorry, Kannada. Number B, A.K. Ramanujan, Telugu. Number C, Kamala Das, Tamil. Number R, D, R, Patrasastri, Malayalam. Correct answer is number uh, A, Giris Karnan. He belongs to Canada literature. Though he has written many works in English also and he has directed many dramas. He has also made many, he has also made many movies. Next question, number 40. Mrs. Malaprop, the school for scandal. Number B, Nora, the seagull. Number C, Lydia, language, the stoops to conquer. C, stoops to conquer, sorry. Number D, Eliza Doolittle, Pygmalion. The correct answer is number D, Eliza Doolittle has written Pygmalion. Sorry, not written. Yeah, this is a character from Pygmalion. Next question. In the assertion, four out of the five people suffer from dreaded pi pyoria. This is in quotation. The writer wants to arouse the feeling of number A, sympathy, number B, fear, number C, hatred, number D, ill will. The correct answer is number B, fear. Next question. John is six feet tall and 240 LB. This is in, in inverted comma. It is an assertion of what? Number A, a fact, number B, a judgment, number C, an op opinion, number D, and inference. The correct answer is number D, and inference. Next question. X is saying he is mean and stingy. Number uh, Y is saying, oh, I wouldn't say that. He is just thirsty. In comma, close. The above dialogue asserts that he, number A, is too careful with the money, with his money. Number B, never spends money. Number C, is so careful with his money that everyone admires him for good management. Number D, is careful with his money. Correct answer is number B, sorry, A, is too careful with his money. Next question. I, wa I wandered lonely as a cloud. In inverted comma close, it makes an assertion that number A, the poet traveled with the cloud. Number B, the poet moved aimlessly with the cloud. Number C, both the poet and the cloud were lonely. Number D, the poet moved as aimlessly as the cloud. The correct answer is number D, the poet moved as aimless as the cloud. Next. That is here and that is there. That is busy everywhere, all around, within, beneath, above is that. And we are that. In my comma close, this may be a poetic line, I don't know. So here, the effect of rhythm, sound, word, order, and stress in the above lines. Okay? It assists what? Number A is saying. It assists the communication of meaning. Number B, hinder the communication of meaning. Number C, reflect meaning and mood. Number D, reflect a mechanical regulatory. Regulatory, the, concept, uh, the correct answer is 45. C, reflect meaning and mood. So here, uh, here, uh, this is a little bit different question, 46 number. Read the following passages and answer the questions from follow based on your understanding of the passages. So let me read it. All of us live in society and are members of a nationality and with its own language. Tradition, historical situation, to what extent are intellectual servants of these actualities, comma, to what extent enemies. The same is true of the intellectual relationship with institutions, academic, church, professional guild, and with worldly powers, which in our times have co-opted the intelligentsia to an extraordinary degree. Thus, in my view, the principal intellectual duty is the search for the for relative independence from such pressures. Hence, my characterization of the intellectual as an exile and marginal, as amateur, and as the author of a language that tries to speak the truth to power. That's it. This is the phrase. Uh, passes. Now we have to uh, answer the question on the basis of that basis. Number one question is, name four important sources to which an intellectual is related. Basically, the correct answer uh, I will not uh, read the all uh, options. I will just say the correct answer. The correct option is number 46, number C, nationality, language, tradition, and historical situation. Next question is saying, what is the meaning of intellectuals being servants? Number A will be the correct answer. The intellectual may be appropriated by his tradition, historical, and other actualities of his nation and society. Next question, what are the four important institutions that co opt an intellectual? Number B is the correct answer. Academic, comma, church, professional, guild, and worldly power. Next question. What is the meaning of relative independence? The correct answer will be number C, liberating oneself from the pressure of institutions and worldly powers. Please verify it. Next question is saying, next and the last question, what is the duty of an intellectual and how many identities does he acquire to perform his role? The correct answer is number D, to search for relative independence and be characterized as agile and marginal, as amateur and author. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are enlightened to some extent and I hope this will also help you in your preparation for MA in English entrance exam. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. First, in this video, uh, I will continue the English literature MCQ for different exams, including math and MA in English. 
so in today's video uh, the first question is identify the correct descriptions of sprung rhythm from the following so we have to identify the uh, sorry not correct incorrect descriptions of sprung rhythm from the following so which one will be the correct i will not uh, read the whole uh, options i will just say the answer so the correct answer will be number d that, that is only number one is correct this rhythm sprung rhythm uh, it causes ideas to spring in our minds hence sprung rhythm so this uh, description is not correct uh, next question next one is saying who among the following proposes that the unconscious comes into being only in language unconscious comes into being only in language so it is said by number b jax lacan 36 number uh, next question is saying the following uh, the elizabethan settlement established during the reign of elizabethan one so many options are given so which one will be the correct one so i will just say the answer so number one is correct that is one and three one uh, it ensured the supremacy of church of england number three it allowed the extremer protestants to be a part to be part of the anglican church next next question is saying which of the following uh, poems by tennyson does not speak of old age and death does not speak the old age and death so the correct answer will be number a that is the beggar mad next only english poet addressing another this is a very line given so we have to now uh, you just read this line you can pause the line and read the line and whose lines are these to whom these are addressed that we have to find out and the correct answer will be number c that is william Wordsworth. he has uh, who, uh, whose lines are these? These lines are from William Wordsworth. And to whom uh, are they addressed? It is addressed to John Milton. Next question. Samuel Johnson's Lives of Poets, 1781. It was originally a series of introductions to the poet, poets who wrote for a group of London publishers. They were collected as what? So we have to find out what. So the correct answer will be number B, that is prefaces, biographical and critical to the works of English poets. Next question. Which of the following is not mentioned in Northrop Pyre's uh, Four Generic Plot? So the correct answer will be number C, that is the lyric. Next, arrange the sections of the wasteland in, in the order in which they appear in the poem. So we have to now reorder it. So the correct answer will be number, number uh, D, that is first five will come, the burial of the dead, then three will come, a game of chess, then one will come, the fire sermon, then two will come, death by water, then four will come, the bu burial of the dead. Next question, 42. Sir Plum is a character in... Sir Plum is a character in what? Number C. Pops the rap of the lock. It is the correct answer. Next. Uh, stealing herself to the murder, Lady Macbeth calls on death. Two. Unsex me here. Macbeth one. Uh, one point five point three nine. Choose the right option to fill in the blank. So correct answer will be number B. That is the spirit of hell. Next. You will find the following lines in an English poem. Thou by the Indian Ganga side suits rubbish fine. I by the side of Humber would complain. Which poem? Who is the poet? So we have to find out. So correct answer will be number D. That is Tiger Mask Ritual by Chitra. Ban uh, sorry. To his coy mistresses by Andrew Marvel. Next. Teach me half the gladness that my brain must know. Such harmonious madness from my lips would flow. The world uh, should li listen then as I am listening now. Whose lines are these? To whom are they addressed? So the correct answer will be number B. That is P.B. Shelley, the Skylark. Next, match list one which leads to according to the quotes given below. So here many options are given without any delay. Let's try to find out the correct answer. Okay, the correct answer will be number A, that is one, Dumby and Son, it is it will be related to two train. Two, the return of the native, it is related to three, that is heat, number three to four, bleak house, it is related not no no no. Yes, three to one. Three bleak house is related to fog and number four test, it is related to uh, four. Okay, four is related to four mist. Next. Uh, the following postmodernist novel has an unusual protagonist whose gender uh, is not revealed so much so that we keep wondering whether that person's relationships are homo heterosexual so which one is the correct answer number c written on on the body is the correct answer next which novel of graham green in the following list does not end in some form of suicide by the protagonist so correct answer is now um, number b england mad me next 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 thing who among the following gave a happy ending to king lear who among the following gave a happy ending to king lear number b is the correct answer nahum tate next jen justin's uh jen austin sorry pride and pride prejudice it starts with the famous statement it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a life uh, not life actually it will be uh oh sorry yes life but it should be wife some kind of mistake is here 
So uh, number B is the correct answer. That is one, two, and four. One, the surrounding families, two, Mrs. Bennett, and uh, one, two, and four, the women of Jane Austen's Asian society. So thank you so much.